Alrighty, so I am fixing this um, parts repair Seiko clock. This is not my QXM 128BRH. Don't worry, that one's fine. This is a different one that I bought for parts to repair. It needs all new battery springs, and then there's probably a broken gear in here because there is no resistance um, when I move the, the dial up and down. So there's probably a broken gear in there somewhere. Um, I unplugged the speaker wire, so I take the back off. So I'm going to get get these um, off and get some brand new springs on that and find out where this wire was off at. So I'm not sure where that came off. I think it came off here. I'll solder it back on and plug battery and see if it works. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to put some new contacts in. While I wait for my soldering iron to heat up, I'm going to go ahead and find out. I just took this gear off. I'm going to find out why this is not moving. So let's go ahead and crack it open and see what's up. All right, guys, so I found the culprit. This big gear is split. You can't really see it that well, but... Yeah, now you can see it. That's a crack right in the side of that gear. Now you can clearly see that. So this whole is gonna, this whole gear is now gonna need to get replaced. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and replicate this gear in CAD, and I will let you guys know when it's done, and then we'll throw it in. All right, so progress, guys. Um, the the thing is loose, but as you can see, it's spinning. Without anything crazy happening. Um, here's what I got. There's a wire, right? This wire that's completely corroded that goes all the way down here. I have to take the front of the face of the clock off to remove this piece in order to access that wire to put a new one on. Okay, so I just replaced all four battery terminals and it did power up. Um, I took all of the gears out of the gearbox for now. The motor does spin. Um, Basically, I'm going to have to move. This is also loose right now. I'm going to have to test to test it. I just wired the speaker up to test it. I'm going to have to move this piece into place. Um, okay, hold on. Let me flip it over. I'm going to have to move the thing onto the relay switch. Shoot, the button's probably bad. The button's bad on it. I'll have to look into the button. But as you, it works, the lights are going. Boom. Or maybe not. I don't know. Shoot. All right, I just took off the covering. I'm gonna try to make the connection right now. Um. Oh. Oh, it's not touching this relay switch. Has to be touching the relay switch. Oh shoot, that scared the crap out of me. All right, it works. Motor should be, why is the motor moving? All right. Oh shoot. What just happened? Let's try that one more time. Make the connection. Motor is spinning and here we go. try to mimic it so right about now it'd be going down yep motor spinning and right about now it would touch good all right please don't i want to see it yay look at that I want to hear Phantom of the Opera.
sounds kind of rough. I don't know if it's just because it's... Okay, so now it's going back up. I'm going to hit the sensor when I want to see what version is. Oh, right, shoot. Here we go. Oh, it's the... Oh, shoot. It's the, it's the different generation. Did you guys see that? All the lights flashed on the end. It's actually the... That's really cool. So now I can compare this to mine. That's awesome. Okay, that's cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. I got the glass off. I got these off. I got the bottom half of the dial off. And now I finally got to the inside of the mechanism where I can get this wire off and get a new one on. It was a ridiculously long procedure and I'm honestly kind of scared to put this thing back together just because how long it took, but I'm going to do it. And then next is going to be this. I just noticed when I was putting it together, the star LED is completely gone in it. It needs to be replaced. Probably use this replace it. Maybe I'll use this one. I kind of like this one better. 